Hello everyone, thank you for watching this video. One of the common questions I get in interviews is, have you worked on migrations? What critical challenges did you face and how did you solve them? Migrations can be unpredictable and no matter how well you plan, real world scenarios always bring unique challenges. In this video, we will talk about a real world challenge I faced during a VMware to Azure migration. All right, let me take you through this scenario. This was not just another migration. It was a large scale operation involving critical production servers. Everything seemed smooth until we hit a major roadblock. And let me tell you, the pressure was real high. We were migrating a set of Linux based application servers from VMware to Azure. The test migrations had gone well, no issues at all. But as soon as we initiated the final cutover for production, something unexpected happened. Some of our critical VMs refused to boot. They were stuck in a boot failure state and we had no time to waste. At this point, leadership was on high alert. The customer was watching closely and the application teams were waiting for updates. Every passing minute felt like an hour. The pressure on us as cloud engineers was immense. We were expected to find a solution fast. But here's the reality. Troubleshooting in cloud environments doesn't always work in one go. There's no magic fix. It's about systematically narrowing down the issue while keeping everyone informed. Now, here's where things got interesting. We couldn't just assume the cause immediately. We had to troubleshoot step by step. First, we checked the Azure uh, boot diagnostics and saw that the VMs were failing with a grub bootloader error that told us something had gone wrong with the boot process. But why? These were the same VMs that worked in the test environment. We started thinking about possible causes. One possibility was that the bootloader got corrupted during the migration. Another was that the disk layout had changed in a way group wasn't expecting. Or maybe something was off with how the disks were being mounted. Next, we accessed the Azure Serial Console to dig deeper. As soon as we got in, we noticed the issue. Grub couldn't find the root file system. That was a red flag. Running LSBLK confirmed that the disk UUIDs were mismatched. Turns out during migration, the disk UUIDs changed, but Grub was still trying to load the old ones. Classic boot failure scenario. At this point, the team was feeling the heat. Time was ticking and every failed attempt to bring a VM back online only added to the tension. The customer was already asking, how long will this take? The pressure was at its peak. Now that we had identified the issue, it was time for action. Step one, we manually mounted the root file system using the Azure Serial Console. Step two, we edited the grub configuration file to point to the correct disk UUID. Step three, we ran grub to MK config to regenerate the grub configuration and grub to install to make sure everything was set correctly. After that, we rebooted the VM and this time we waited hoping it would work and finally it came back online one down but we had multiple vms facing the same issue we quickly applied the same fix across all affected linux vms ensuring everything was back to normal within a short time we had saved the project from a major delay this experience reinforced some key lessons first always verify disk uuid after migration especially for linux vms Second, Azure Serial Console is a lifesaver for VM recovery. Third, having a structured troubleshooting approach makes all the difference. And most importantly, always expect the unexpected in cloud migrations. At the end of the day, we met our deadline and the customer was happy. But this was a reminder that no matter how well you test, real world migrations can still throw surprises at you. So that was one of the most intense troubleshooting experiences I've had. The key takeaway in cloud migrations, it's not just about moving VMs. It's about knowing how to handle failures, thinking on your feet and solving problems under pressure. If you'd like to get more real world scenario based questions like this, consider enrolling in our training program where we cover live troubleshooting cases, migration challenges and deep dive into solving critical cloud issues. Thanks again for watching. If you found this useful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in the next video.